we push the limits of what's possible to craft the future of handheld camera stabilization. Introducing DJI RS2, a versatile, powerful platform built to take your shots to the next level. RS2 goes beyond stabilization, giving you complete control right at your fingertips. RS2 is light enough to take anywhere and strong enough to handle any setup with the reimagined carbon fiber construction, allowing you to capture your shots with effortless versatility. We've also added more mounting and expansion options for an endless range of shooting scenarios. Our Titan stabilization algorithm ensures smooth, stable footage. Activate Super Smooth to adjust torque and motor control to eliminate even the smallest vibrations. Traditional setups get a cutting edge upgrade with our RavenEye wireless transmission system, enabling simplified remote viewing and control. Essential features like ActiveTrack 3.0 are now accessible directly on the full color touchscreen. Our 3D focus system gives you pinpoint autofocus even when using manual lenses. Using TOF sensors, this system measures the distance between your camera and the subject, adjusting focus quickly and flawlessly, even in low light. From solo shoots to larger productions, RS2 offers the complete package to get the shots you need. Turn your visual possibilities into cinematic reality with DJI RS2. In this video, we will show you everything included in DJI RS2 and the DJI RS2 Pro Combo. Both DJI RS2 and the Pro Combo come with DJI RS2, which has three Type-C ports, the RSS camera control port, the focus motor port, and the image transmission port. The BG30 grip provides up to 12 hours of battery life and can be charged with the USB-C charging cable. The Ronin Quick Release Plate Lower is compatible with the Manfrotto Standard. The Ronin Quick Release Plate Upper and the Camera Riser are compatible with the Manfrotto and Arca Swiss Standards. Use the Lens Fastening Strap during shooting to enhance stabilization. It is required when you use Super Smooth. The Extended Grip Tripod has three legs. When joined, it serves as an extension for more handling versatility. When separated, it is a tripod to stand DJI RS2 upright on a flat surface. You can use DJI RS2 in briefcase mode with a briefcase handle and extended grip tripod attached to it. For communication with specific camera brands, there are also several cables included. These are the Ronin Multi-Camera Control Cable, Sony Multi, Ronin Multi-Camera Control Cable, USB-C, Ronin Multi-Camera Control Cable, Micro USB, and Ronin Multi-Camera Control Cable Mini USB. There are three quarter-inch 20 screws, one RSA NATO port cover, and one pan-axis sleeve. In addition to these accessories, the DJI RS2 Pro Combo also includes one DJI RavenEye image transmitter, three HDMI cables, one USB-C power cable, one cold shoe to quarter-inch 20 adapter for the DJI RavenEye image transmitter, one phone holder that attaches to either RSA NATO port on the sides of the handle, one focus motor used with the front dial to control focus, iris, and zoom, one USB-C power cable to control the focus motor. Also included are one focus motor rod, one rod mount, one focus gear strip, and four M4 screws to tighten the rod mount. Attach the extended grip tripod into the BG30 grip and unfold the tripod. Attach the BG30 grip to the gimbal. 
toggle the tilt, roll, and pan lock levels to the unlocked position, unfold the axis arms, and toggle the three locks to the locked position. Press and hold the power button to power on the gimbal. Enable Bluetooth on your mobile device. Launch the Ronin app and log into your DJI account or sign up for a new one. When a list of Bluetooth devices are detected, select DJI RS2 and input the default Bluetooth password, 12345678, and activate the gimbal according to the instructions. After activation, select your language on the touchscreen. You can also activate DJI Care Refresh to enjoy express replacement at a small amount of charge and the international warranty service. Press and hold the power button to turn off the gimbal. Lock the three axes. Toggle the grip level to the unlocked position. Hold down the safety button and pull the grip away from the gimbal. The Ronin 3D focus system can be installed onto the camera or camera cage to assist manual lens focus. There is an infrared distance sensor in the front of the system, a status indicator and AF-MF switch button on the top, two USB-C ports and a mounting base on the side. Remove the quarter inch 20 thread to cold shoe adapter. Install the 3D focus system on the cold shoe of the camera and rotate the lock wheel to fix it firmly. Use two USB-C cables to connect the 3D focus system to the USB-C port and focus motor of the gimbal. The 3D focus system must be calibrated before using for the first time. You can save up to three sets of calibration data and change between different focal lengths on one single lens. To calibrate, swipe up on the touch screen, tap Dial Functions and Focus Motor. Swipe left and swipe up to select 3D focus system settings. Tap Lens Calibration. Perform focus motor calibration by following the prompts and select the focal length. Focus the 3D focus system on a subject in the center of the view approximately one meter away and wait until the process bar is completely green. Adjust the front dial until the subject is in focus and tap confirm. Focus the 3D focus system on a subject in the center of the view approximately four meters away. Repeat the previous step and tap confirm to complete the calibration. To change between AF and MF, Tap the AF-MF switch button once, or switch using the touchscreen. When the status indicator turns solid green, the 3D focus system is ready to be used. The next time you use the gimbal, you can select the calibrated lens by its number and recalibrate the focus motor to begin operating. To obtain the best performance from DJI RS2, proper balancing of the three axes, tilt, roll, and pan is essential. Improper balance may reduce stability and battery runtime. Severe imbalance can also lead to overheated motors, which may force the gimbal to enter sleep mode for overheating protection. The gimbal is considered balanced when the camera is mounted to DJI RS2 and remains steady at any angle it moves along the three axes. The order for balancing these axes is balancing the vertical tilt, balancing depth for the tilt axis, balancing the roll axis, balancing the pan axis. Before installing and balancing the camera on the gimbal, remove the lens cap and insert a micro SD card and battery into the camera. Attach the upper quick release plate to the camera. Make sure that the camera lens and the arrow on the bottom of the upper quick release plate are facing the same direction. Then tighten the screw at the bottom of the plate, unlock the safety lock, insert the lower quick release plate, and then lock the safety lock. Toggle the lever on the lower quick release plate to the unlocked position. 
insert the camera, and toggle the lever to the lock position after it is engaged. Attach the lens support to the lower quick-release plate. Wrap the hook and loop strap around the lens to fix and support it. Unlock the tilt axis and loosen the mounting plate knob. Rotate the tilt axis so that the camera lens is pointing upward to check its center of gravity. If the lens leans forward, it is top-heavy. Loosen the mounting plate knob and move the camera back to a balanced position. If the lens leans backward, it is bottom-heavy. Move the camera forward to a balanced position. Tighten the mounting plate knob. The vertical tilt is balanced when the camera is steady while pointing upward. Rotate the tilt axis so that the camera lens is pointing forward to check its center of gravity. If the lens turns downward, it is front heavy. Loosen the lever and turn the fine-tuned balancing knob to move the camera back to a balanced position. If the lens turns upward, it is back heavy. Move the camera forward to a balanced position. The tilt axis is balanced when the camera is steady while tilted up or down by 45 degrees. Toggle the lever to the locked position. Unlock the roll axis and toggle the lever to the unlocked position. Hold the roll motor to check the center of gravity. If the camera rotates to the left, move the camera to the right. If the camera rotates to the right, move the camera to the left. The roll axis is balanced when the camera is steady. Toggle the lever to the locked position. If the lever needs more tightening, you can lift and readjust its position to allow for manual retightening. Unlock the pan axis and toggle the lever to the unlocked position. While holding the grip, tilt DJI RS2 backward and rotate the arm until it is parallel with you to check its center of gravity. If the camera lens rotates to the left, push the pan axis to the right. If the camera lens rotates to the right, push the pan axis to the left. The pan axis is balanced when the camera is steady when rotating the pan while tilting the grip. Toggle the lever to the locked position. To move the axis arm in smaller increments, adjust the tightness of the roll axis knob to an appropriate amount. Thanks for watching. This video will give detailed information about the buttons built into DJI RS2 as well as how to access the most frequently used shooting modes quickly. Press and hold the power button to power on DJI RS2. The touchscreen will automatically display the homepage where you can access auto-tune, balance status, follow mode, and follow speed. In the top bar of the touchscreen, you can also check user profile, camera connection status, battery level, and other information. Tap the Auto-Tune icon at the top left to enter Auto-Tune. Tap to start Auto-Tune, and the gimbal will adjust its stabilization according to the actual payload, providing better stabilization. Tap the slider to eliminate or disable Super Smooth. It will take effect after you perform Auto-Tune again, as this determines the gimbal's adjusted stiffness. Super Smooth stiffness can be adjusted on the Auto-Tune screen. you can refer to the icon at the top right corner to check the balance status. Green indicates the gimbal is well balanced. Orange indicates the gimbal is adequately balanced for use. And red indicates the gimbal is out of balance and requires a rebalance before use. Tap the follow mode icon and scroll up and down the screen to select a follow mode. Tap the follow speed icon and scroll up and down the screen to set the follow speed. Press and hold to power on or off. Press to lock or unlock the touchscreen, or press twice to enter or exit sleep mode. Joystick. Toggle to control the movement of the gimbal. M button. Press to select a user profile. Camera control button. After connecting DJI RS2 to the camera with a multi-camera control cable, press halfway to initiate autofocus. Press once to start or stop recording. And press and hold to take a photo. Trigger. Press once to start active track. Press twice to recenter the gimbal. Press three times to turn the gimbal 180 degrees and enter selfie mode. Front dial. The front dial's default function is to control camera focus. It can also be used to control focus motor, ISO, aperture, or the roll axis. Auto tune. Press and hold the M button and trigger to initiate auto tune. Lock mode. 
press and hold the trigger to enter lock mode. In this mode, the camera will keep facing the same direction no matter how the handle moves. Lock mode is useful for shots that involve tracking or pan follow. Sport mode. Press and hold the M button to enable sport mode, in which the gimbal tracks a quickly moving subject. If you need to remain in sport mode, press the trigger twice while holding the M button. Perform the same action to exit sport mode. Portrait mode. Press the M button twice or set the follow mode on the touchscreen to portrait mode. The pan and tilt axes will rotate 90 degrees so that the camera is vertical. Press the M button twice to exit portrait mode. 3D Roll 360. Press the M button three times to enable 3D Roll 360 or set the follow mode on the touchscreen to 3D Roll 360 where the tilt axis will rotate 90 degrees upward and stand by for a 360 degree rotation. At this moment, the camera is facing the same direction as the grip. Push the joystick to the left or right and the camera will make a 360 degree rotation. Push the joystick to the left or right twice and the camera will keep rotating at a constant speed. Press the trigger twice and the gimbal will automatically stop once it is in a horizontal direction. Press the trigger three times and the gimbal will automatically stop once the camera view is inverted. Repeat to exit 3D Roll 360. Thanks for watching. With ActiveTrack 3.0, DJI RS2 makes it even easier to track a subject, offering more possibilities for creation. Before using ActiveTrack with DJI RS2, please ensure the DJI Ronin RavenEye Image Transmission System is installed, a camera control cable is connected, the gimbal is properly balanced, and the camera and transmission system are powered on. After DJI RS2 is powered on, swipe down the touchscreen to enter camera view. To track a person or object, press the trigger once while the subject is in the center of the frame, and DJI RS2 will automatically begin tracking. During tracking, a slider will appear down on the screen, which can be used to adjust the speed of active track. Please note that at higher tracking speeds, the gimbal is more responsive and footage is less smooth. At lower tracking speeds, the gimbal is less responsive and footage is smoother. You can also use ActiveTrack with the Ronin app. Enter the camera view in the app, drag a box around a subject, and start tracking. ActiveTrack speed can be adjusted at the bottom left corner of the screen. During tracking, you can also move the joystick to adjust your subject's position in the frame. In this video, you will learn how to access the functions embedded in DJI RS2's home touchscreen, including auto-tune, balance status, follow mode, and follow speed. On the top bar of the touchscreen, you can directly view information such as the current battery level and user profile. Tap the top left icon on the touchscreen to enter auto-tune. To start auto-tune, tap start and the gimbal will automatically adjust its motor to a proper torque according to the actual payload weight, ensuring optimal stabilization. To enable Super Smooth, tap the icon on the touchscreen, read the notes carefully, and then tap to start auto-tune. The motor stiffness adjustment allows you to fine-tune the power that is applied by the motors as they react and balance the weight on each axis. Tap to enter Balance Status screen. Here, you can check the gimbal's balance status, when the gimbal is tilted by 15 degrees and the stiffness bar on each axis is green, it means the gimbal is optimally balanced. If it is yellow or red, it means the gimbal is not properly balanced. To obtain optimal stabilization and operation time, please perform gimbal balancing to the corresponding axes. Tap to enter follow mode screen. Swipe up and down on the screen to select a follow mode. The currently selected mode will be in yellow. You can also select custom mode and set the follow mode according to actual shooting needs. Tap to enter follow speed screen. On this screen, you can choose from three follow speeds, fast, medium, and slow. The default follow speed is medium. 
To satisfy every shooting need, custom mode is also available for follow speed settings. Slide right from the left edge of the screen to enter the Create screen. Time lapse. In time lapse, set the interval, duration, and frame rate for time lapse. You can also add waypoints. Tap to start recording a time lapse video. Motion lapse. Tap plus to set up to 10 waypoints and tap each waypoint to adjust movement duration and stay time during the motion lapse. Panorama. For quick access to panorama mode, DJI RS2 offers two panorama modes, 3x3 and 180 degrees, which are ready to use without additional settings. When creating a custom panorama, you are allowed to set the sensor type, lens focal length, overlap, and interval according to the actual camera and lens type. After settings are done, DJI RS2 will automatically calculate shooting range and amount of still photos needed to create a panorama. Tap to start shooting panorama. Time Tunnel. Tap to set the interval, duration, and frame rate, and DJI RS2 will automatically calculate the number of photos and the final length of the time tunnel video. Tap Next to set the starting angle and the number of rotations. When setting is done, tap Start to begin shooting. Slide left from the right edge of the screen to enter the System Settings screen. Enable or disable the silent mode to turn off or turn on system sounds, including the warning tone. Enable Push Mode to manually control the tilt and pan axis, where you can directly adjust the gimbal and camera to an optimal position for quick composition. Select Disable Selfie to prevent accidental access to Selfie Mode. More Settings Tap to perform horizontal calibration if the picture is not level, even when it is standing still. If the issue persists after horizontal calibration, use Tune manually. Whenever you find the gimbal lacks stiffness, shakes, or drifts, tap Gimbal Auto Check and DJI RS2 will analyze its hardware status and output the status information afterward. Tap Restore Parameters to restore one or more gimbal parameters and Bluetooth Password to default settings. Tap Language to choose the on-screen language. The default language is English. Tap Device Info to check the current firmware version and more information on the gimbal. Slide up from the bottom of the screen to enter the joystick and front dial settings screen. Joystick speed allows users to control the speed of the joystick between high, medium, and low. In custom mode, you can set the gimbal speed to an exact value. Joystick smooth allows users to control the smoothness of the gimbal between fast, medium, and slow. In custom mode, you can set the smoothness to an exact value. Dial functions allows users to set the function of the front dial. The default function is to control focus. If you have already installed the focus motor, it is also available for control via the front dial. Dial speed allows users to set the response speed of the function set for the front dial. After mounting the DJI Ronin RavenEye image transmission system and connecting it with an HDMI and USB Type-C cable, Slide down the screen to enter the image transmission screen. Aim the box in the middle of the camera view at the subject and press the trigger once to start tracking. Follow mode and follow speed can be adjusted at the bottom of the screen. When using active track, remember to adjust the follow speed according to the actual focal length of the lens. Thank you for watching. This video will give you detailed information about the buttons built into DJI RSC2, as well as how to access the most frequently used shooting modes quickly. The following is an introduction on the button functions of DJI RSC2. Power button. Press and hold to power on or off. Press twice to enter or exit sleep mode. Back button. Press to exit the current screen. Side Dial 
press to enter the menu and turn to scroll the options. Joystick, toggle to control the movement of the gimbal. M button, press to select a user profile. Camera button control, after connecting the gimbal and camera via multi-camera control cable, press halfway to autofocus. Press once to start or stop recording, or press and hold to take a photo. Trigger, press once to start active track. Tap twice to recenter the gimbal. Tap three times to turn the gimbal 180 degrees and enter selfie mode. Front dial. The default function of the front dial on DJI RC2 is to control camera focus. With additional settings, it can also be used to control focus motor, ISO, aperture, and the roll axis. Press and hold the power to power on DJI RSC2. Once powered on, the screen of DJI RSC2 will automatically display the home page, where you can view the current user file, sleep mode icon, and the current battery level on the top status bar, as well as follow mode and follow speed. Press the side dial to the left of the screen to enter the main menu, which includes the settings for follow mode, auto-tune, the joystick, front dial, and advanced settings. Before use, you need to perform auto-tune and set a follow mode. Here are the detailed instructions. First, use the side dial to select auto-tune and press to start. The gimbal will automatically adjust its stiffness according to the actual payload to better stabilize footage. Select Super Smooth for even further optimized stabilization. After Super Smooth is enabled, tap to perform auto-tune again for optimal performance. The stiffness can be adjusted on the auto-tune screen. Go back to the home screen and select Follow Mode Settings. Select Follow Mode and turn the side dial to scroll through the options. Select Follow Speed and turn the side dial to scroll through the options. Next is the introduction of several shortcuts for gimbal control. Auto-tune. Press the trigger while holding down the M button to begin auto-tune. Lock mode. Press and hold the trigger to enter lock mode. In this mode, the camera will keep facing the same direction no matter how the handle moves. Lock mode is useful for shots that involve tracking or pan follow. Sport mode. Press and hold the M button to enable sport mode, in which the gimbal tracks a quickly moving subject. If you need to remain in sport mode, tap the trigger twice while holding the M button. Perform the same action to exit sport mode. Portrait mode. Tap the M button twice. The pan and tilt axes will rotate 90 degrees so that the camera is vertical. Tap the M button twice to exit portrait mode. 3D roll 360 mode. Press the M button three times to enable 3D roll 360. At this moment, the camera is facing the same direction as the grip. Push the joystick to the left or right, and the camera will make a 360 degree rotation. Push the joystick to the left or right twice, and the camera will keep rotating at a constant speed. Tap the trigger twice, and the gimbal will automatically stop once it is in a horizontal direction. Tap the trigger three times, and the gimbal will automatically stop once the camera view is inverted. Repeat to exit 3D Roll 360. Thank you for watching. Featuring a foldable, integrated design, DJI RSC2 can be switched easily between briefcase, portrait, and storage modes. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use briefcase, portrait, and storage modes with DJI RSC2. Thanks to the foldable design, you can quickly enable a range of operation modes and store it with greater convenience. Before getting started, make sure you have already watched the DJI RSC2 balancing tutorial and have installed the gimbal on the extended grip tripod and performed gimbal balancing. Power on DJI RSC2.
turn the lock knob counterclockwise to loosen it. Hold the grip firmly and tilt the gimbal down 90 degrees. Then tighten the lock knob. Hold the grip horizontally. Press the trigger twice and DJI RSC2 will enter briefcase mode and is ready for low angle shooting. Hold the gimbal upright and press the M button twice to switch to portrait mode. Repeat to exit. After shooting, power off the gimbal. Detach the camera together with the lower quick release plate. Rotate the gimbal to storage position and lock each axis. Remove the extended grip tripod and DJI RSC2 can now be easily stored. Thank you for watching. In this video, we will talk about basic functions and operations of the DJI RSC2 screen. On the main interface of the screen, you can see the current gimbal mode and information like battery level, follow mode, and follow speed. Press the side dial to enter the menu where you will find five settings options. Follow mode settings, auto tune, joystick settings, front dial settings, and advanced settings. Follow mode settings. In follow mode settings, you can choose pan follow, PF, pan and tilt follow, PTF, pan tilt and roll follow, FPV, custom, 3D Roll 360, and Portrait. Select the follow speed. You can choose fast, medium, or slow. The gimbal is set to medium speed by default, and you can also choose custom and set the speed using the front dial. Auto Tune. Select Calibrate, and the gimbal will adjust stiffness based on the actual payload weight to ensure stable shooting. Enable Super Smooth and select Calibrate again to adjust the stiffness. The stiffness of Super Smooth can be adjusted on the Autotune screen. Joystick Settings You can adjust joystick speed and smooth settings. Select Joystick Speed to control the speed of the joystick for the gimbal. Joystick Speed decides the speed of gimbal rotation when it is controlled by the joystick. Joystick Smooth allows users to control the sensitivity of the gimbal. The lower the value, the more sensitive the movement of the gimbal. Front Dial Settings Dial Functions allows users to set the function of the front dial. Users can choose to control the focus motor, focus, ISO, aperture, and roll axis. Dial Speed allows users to set the response speed of the function set. Advanced Settings Enable silent mode to turn off sounds, including the warning tone. Select Disable Selfie to enable Disable Selfie mode. Select Horize Calibration if the gimbal is not level. If the issue persists, use Tune manually. Select Gimbal Auto Check to analyze and output status information of the gimbal. Select Tune Manually to enable Disable Manual Adjustment of the Pan and Tilt Axes. Select Other to restore the gimbal parameters in Bluetooth Password to their default settings. Select the on-screen language from either English or Chinese and view the device information and firmware version. Thank you for watching. Before using any cable-controlled functions, use the multi-camera control cable to connect the gimbal to the camera. For use with Panasonic cameras, after connecting, choose PC Tether Mode on the screen. The built-in focus mode toggle on the camera should be set to MF. To trigger the camera's autofocus, press the camera control button and ensure the camera's focus mode toggle is set to AFS, AFF, or AFC. For use with Nikon cameras, enable camera live view and set the lens focus mode to A. 
Then, ensure the camera's built-in focus mode is set to either AF-S or AF-C for use with Canon cameras. Due to this specific camera system, switch to photo mode to take photos and video mode to record videos. To pull focus with the gimbal, you need to set the lens to AF mode and turn off AF servo. For use with Sony cameras, if the compatible lens does not support power zoom, you need to enable digital zoom manually to control zoom with the gimbal. Turn on the camera, go to the menu, settings, zoom, and select digital zoom. To ensure the camera can be identified by the gimbal, after connecting with the Sony camera, first power on the gimbal, then power on the camera. For use with Sony cameras, set the camera focus mode to MF. Turn off the smartphone control function in the camera. Go to Menu, Smartphone Control, and select Turn Off. Set the camera's USB connection mode to PC Remote Control. Go to Menu, Settings, USB Connection, and select PC Remote Control. To pull focus with the gimbal, set the lens focus mode to AF. For use with Fujifilm cameras, to enable USB tether shooting auto, go to the connection settings, PC connection mode, and select USB tether shooting auto.